Kate, thank you. And this hot weather may have you feeling the urge to hit the beach. As Clay Bryan reports, if you do that in Wildwood this summer, your parking may be closer to the waves than ever before. If there's one thing that sets Wildwood's beach apart, it's the signs. I mean, you're here to have fun and stuff. By the time you get down to the beach, you're exhausted. <laughs> so to make a buck off the big beach, the city will allow public parking on the sand this summer. It's an empty space. Uh, the city, you know, God needs the revenue. And, uh, and, it, and if it helps bring additional people to the community because they are closer to the water. Last year, city commissioners unanimously passed an ordinance allowing visitors to park on the beach, but it took until this spring to create the necessary tunnel under the boardwalk at Baker Avenue. The cost will be about $10 a day to park, and it could raise $150,000 this summer for the city. I would definitely benefit from it, you know, yeah. especially if you have grandkids. It doesn't look good. It's not attractive looking. Not everyone is thrilled. What revenue? They're going to use that revenue to fix it? Robert Trevisana, who owns Triv Amusements right next to the new access tunnel, isn't happy about the condition of the boardwalk, and he thinks the city is just creating a new headache with beach parking. There's no room for people to go in and out at the same time. How about if a disaster hits and they have to leave? But other business owners hope the beach parking may draw more visitors. It's an issue wherever, whatever short town you're going to visit, so people know that uh, you know they got a place to park here. Um, at a reasonable price, which apparently that's what we're going to do, then I could say it's certainly going to help. While many people may be excited about the idea of driving under the boardwalk and parking on the beach in Wildwood, there is a caveat. If you're going out on the sand, you have to have four or all wheel drive. If you're two wheel drive, you'll just have to find a parking spot the old fashioned way. In Wildwood, Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.